How are you doing, everyone? Welcome along to this video. So, um, exciting news, as you can see. We'll play the sort of uh, the little video um, that's on here. So, yeah, a Seto Corsa Evo has been um, added to Steam. You cannot um, obviously download it. It's not been released yet. Uh, release date just says 2024, which obviously still gives us no hint of when it's going to be released. Um, but I think there is, is it 28 screenshots as you can see going through um so yeah really really uh exciting news um that they are obviously it, or it is in the works um you've got a sort of a write-up um here which is sort of going through about um their i think in-house um graphics engine um and everything else they've used so I'm not going to bore you or sort of go through this and read it. Obviously, if you have access to Steam, I definitely think you should jump on and have a look. Um, obviously, they've got system requirements as well. You're sort of minimum um, and you're recommended. One thing as well, SSD required, which I think is really a norm now um, just to get sort of the, the best experience for the actual data transfer um, to sort of run the game seamlessly. Obviously, an SSD um, is the sort of new... Well, not so much a new thing on PC, but it's 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 sort of there as the sort of um, the sort of basic um, drive. Now, obviously, your sort of mechanical drives are I wouldn't say obsolete. You could probably store your pictures and everything else on them, but as far as sort of playing uh, titles, getting that data transferred as quick as possible uh, for a seamless game, obviously SSDs are the bare minimum. Um, obviously, you've got M.2 drives, which are, again, even quicker than SSD. So a bit like Forza Motorsport, um, people that had issues. I know I had issues on PC uh, where they were on the mechanical drive, saved to the mechanical drive. It just wasn't man enough to get the data transferred as quick. So, yeah, SSD required. And as I said, yes, yeah, Steam VR, um, obviously Steam support. I think it's got triple screen support. So, yeah. I'm going to stop waffling um, and we're going to go through these pictures. I'm going to make them big so you can have a look. That says if you have the um, access to Steam, yeah, definitely go and have a look. Um, and you can, yeah, obviously make them quite big. Let's, uh, so we're going to make them big anyway. Um, I'm going to run through. I don't think this will, uh, no, it won't run through itself like it does on the sort of main page. So I'm going to click across. Um, I'm not going to say anything and we're just going to go through the pictures. So what did you think of them screens? Absolutely uh, amazed with the sort of graphical side of it. Obviously, I have AC, um, a set of course, with all the sort of bells and whistles, the aftermarket mods and everything else. Um, and to be fair, I think this looks better, um, if I'm honest. Now, a quick one I want to do. Um, I'm going to bring up two screenshots. Um, basically, it caught my eye, the Nord's screen. Um, so I sort of tried to replicate this from ACC um, and get as close to the sort of position of where it is on ACC to, to AC Evo um, just for you to sort of, yeah, compare. Um, I didn't feel I wanted to get it in at the original Seto Corsa uh, because obviously it's not the sort of original game. As I said, I've got all the 
the mods and everything else. So I, I thought ACC would be a better sort of comparison. So I'll bring them up now. Um, and yeah, just to uh, just to sort of give it a sort of side by side. Um, I'm, I'm sort of well, was intrigued just to see the difference. And clearly you can see with a set of Corsa Evo that the, the graphical side is a lot better um, than ACC. Um, cars wise and everything else on there, the graphics looks really good. The detail, um, would I say GT7 uh, detail on the cars? Possibly. Um, but I think we'd have to sort of get a closer inspection of sort of in-game. Um, if they've got like a, um, a sort of showroom mode or something like that, that you can uh, hover around the cars and go sort of really, really close and see the detail. Um, definitely looks better than Forza, I think. Um, obviously not knocking Forza, but yeah, they're just the actual car detail. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think. Um, are you excited for it? I know a lot of my subscribers are console based. So obviously console guys will get this later than PC. Uh, it will be released on PC, I think, first. That's what they've said. So, but yeah. Looks really, really good. Really, really uh, looking forward to it when it comes out this year. Um, obviously, we haven't really got a lot of the year left, to be fair. We're sort of halfway through already. So, yeah, this 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 could be in the next couple of months. But uh, let's see. Um, this is a nice uh, sort of treat for us this evening um, or when this video gets released anyway. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, as always, I'll catch you on the next one.